Hey guys, it's Shane. Welcome back to my channel and today we are getting back on the Kylie Minogue train and we are going to be doing none other than the amazing Got To Be Certain. So guys, Got To Be Certain, we all know it's a big fan favourite. It's a great song. It's really campy and we all love it. But um, Got To Be Certain, a few stats. It was released on May 2nd of 1988 and it is the third single from the Kylie album. Now I'm very lucky to have the Kylie album here and it's a signed copy as you can see here, Kylie. So proud of it, I love it. Uh, it usually sits on my wall but I've taken it down today to show you on my video here but that's how I like to, you know, listen to my music back in the day. So the album and of course the single for Got To Be Certain. Got to be certain um, was recorded in London, but of course the video was shot in Australia in Melbourne. And there's some really famous Melbourne landmarks, the Yarra River, uh, Luna Park, where she's on the, the carousel. And of course, uh, the, I think it was the TNG building back in the day, but it's now KPMG. Uh, and that's where she filmed in the black dress on top of the uh, building and the beautiful Melbourne skyline and that building still exists today. So let's talk charts. Okay, so got to be certain. As I said, released in May of 1988 and it got to number two in the UK. It got to number two in New Zealand, number four in Ireland, number six in Norway, number seven in Denmark, number nine in France, number six in Germany, number eight in Switzerland, and of course, Let's not forget the number ones, but she was number one in Finland and of course number one here in Australia where she stood for four whole weeks. So of course the video you're going to watch, it's 80s inspired, you know, it's it's back in the day and you know, it's campy, it's, it shows Kylie very vulnerable, she's not the performer that she is today and it's great to look back and see where she started from to where she is now, where she is just worldwide, um, so confident um, and just brilliant at what she does. She's really grown into the role of pop princess. So my friends, without further ado, let's jump into Miss Kylie Minogue and the single, Got To Be Certain. fashion let's talk the fashion and the hair it is so 80s and i just love it so much i mean that that white and and black striped sleeve that was all the rage back then i just remember you know after this video came out people were you know copying this look here in australia people just absolutely loved kylie and it wasn't just the girls it was the guys as well they were you know there was that sort of style um, and that was around for quite a few months. I remember seeing it and I was, every time I'd see it, I'd be like, oh my God, that's Kylie, it's Kylie, it's Kylie. Um, and I get really excited about, you know, the, cause I was quite young at the time. I was about 10 when this was released. And so, you know, I used to beg my parents to get me something, you know, Kylie inspired, like striped like that. Never got it, never got it. It's all right, it's fine. I'm not traumatized at all, mum and dad. Maybe a little. And as I was saying before, that's the, the, the TNG, I think the building was called back in the day. That's the TNG building up top. On, on the rooftop and that's the beautiful Melbourne skyline behind and um, I think I've got a picture of the building today which I'll put down here for you to have a look at and that's the actual building that Kylie filmed this particular scene for, forgot to be certain um, on top of the rooftop there so yeah great stuff and I'm so glad that that building is still existing today <laughs>
There we go. That's the Yarra River there uh, in the heart of uh, Melbourne. So you can, you know, if you go to Melbourne, you can walk down along the Yarra River and just pretend that you're in the got to be certain video. Um, I have done that once or twice in my life. I have to admit, not wearing those clothes though, but I have done that walk and, you know, looked back at those buildings and that bridge and stuff like that and just be like, oh my God, Kylie stood here, you know, just, it's the simple things in life, isn't it? I don't know. I mean, today's Kylie, you would see a smouldering look, some really refined dance moves, looking into the camera, being really confident. Um, but looking back, you know, at this video, you know, third video in, she's not so confident and she's very, very, you know, demure. She's very, very just kind of shy in some ways. Um, and you just want to just jump into the, into the screen and just give her a big hug and say, you are going to be fine, Miss Minogue. You are going to be one of the biggest pop stars in the entire world. Um, but how was she to know that, you know, back then? You know, hopefully that she thought that she would be and that she would get there. But, you know, I'm sure at this stage, she just wasn't really feeling that at all. But how lucky for us that she just, you know, persevered and she has become who she is today. We absolutely love this woman. And she is still pumping out the tunes, still pumping out the movies, still pumping out the music videos. The tours are just epic. And I love her. And true love lasts a lifetime. Well, there you go, guys. I mean, got to be certain, you know, brilliant song, brilliant song for its time. And like I said, it is still a fan favorite. We all love it. We all love to look back at, you know, good old retro Kylie, jump into those songs, sing along, dance along. She just makes you happy. She's such a joyous artist and going on the journey, you know with her has just been a you know it's been a highlight it's been a lot of fun i've learned a lot you know you learn a lot through you know music artists you know life life love humanity all that sort of stuff you know they make you feel and they make you think and that's what a good artist does it make, a good artist makes you think and you know just some of the beautiful arty stuff that Kylie has done and brought into my life, you know, has really enriched it. And so I'm very, very lucky to be a fan and for as long as I have. And I just love her and I hope you do too. So guys, if you like that video, come back and see me again. Like, subscribe, dislike, comment, whatever you like to do. I don't care. Troll me. I'll troll you back. I'm very fucking good at it. So stop by again. Let's continue on our Kylie sort of discography and our you know Kylie movement that we're on at the moment and I will talk to you very very soon thanks for stopping by see you later